veteran friendly school what does that even mean i mean like what makes a school veteran friendly does having an rotc program make the school veteran friendly or maybe an institution is considered vet friendly if they market to veterans oh, no no i got it the school must have a military oriented mascot to be considered military friendly or maybe the school needs a combination of all three of those things <laughs> stay tuned we're about to solve this riddle once and for all Welcome to another episode of Benefits Basics, where we unpack VA education benefits and walk you through how to make the most of the benefits you've earned through your military service. You can find our Benefits Basics episodes on the GGU Military Facebook group and military.ggu.edu. My name is Keith Ravenel. I'm a retired 24-year Air Force veteran, current student at GGU, and your host of Benefits Basics. I want to remind you all to please leave a comment and let us know your thoughts about today's episode. Your comments help strengthen our veteran community by sharing information so we all grow together. There are currently over 11,000 veteran-friendly higher education institutions for active duty, veterans, military spouses, and dependents to choose from. But what makes a school veteran-friendly? I thought the school needed to be endorsed by the government, uh, the armed forces, or the VA, but that's not the case. After doing a little research, here are some questions that can help determine if a school is in fact veteran friendly. First, does the school have a dedicated veteran representative like a liaison or service director who understands the specific needs of veterans and assists with benefits and admissions? Many schools assign this as an additional activity within the admissions or registrar office and thus don't give this endeavor the intention needed. Number two, does the school have a centralized services like a dedicated office or center to provide the resources and cross campus connections needed by incoming veteran students? The school doesn't have to provide a one stop shop to be effective. However, you may want to ensure it has a clearly defined network structure that is continually cultivated by a central office. GGU checks boxes one and two because the university has the Helen Diller Center, which is a center that is staffed by a team of coaches, community and digital events manager and the veteran ambassadors who work closely with other university resource offices such as the VA certification office and disability services. GGU's veteran services are some of the best any university offers because they do a great job of keeping close connections with area and national veteran services organizations as well as the veterans administration. Plus, the team members are all veterans or military spouses and most are students themselves. All right, number three, does the school have counseling services? Honestly, you may never end up using counseling services during your entire time at the institution. However, you may still wanna make this a requirement when choosing a school because it's nice to know that you're gonna have adequate academic, personal, and financial counseling services that are gonna be available should you need to use them. Number four, what type of associations does the school belong to? Schools that are best at servicing veteran students seek to connect and join various organizations like the Service Member Opportunity of Colleges, or the SOC, which is a consortium in cooperation with 15 higher education associations, the Department of Defense, and active and reserve components of the military services to expand and improve voluntary post-secondary education opportunities for service members worldwide. Number five, do they accept our credits? Now, this is a big one. Ensure the school accepts military credits following the American Council on Education, or ACE, guidelines and understands how to evaluate ART, SMART, and CCAF transcripts. Some of you may not realize this, but you've accumulated college credits from some of your various military training. Why let them go to waste? That could be two to three classes you don't have to take for your degree. Number six, does the school have a student veteran organization? A student veteran organization can assist with ensuring the best interests of veteran students are continually considered by school leadership ingraining the program into the fabric of the school. This is even more important if attending a school that is not near a military installation. Number seven, what kind of veteran web presence does the school have? In today's technology age, Google or other search engines is how we do most of our research on these institutions. Once you research the institution's main page, how far down do you have to scroll before you reach veteran related information? That can speak volumes to the school's emphasis regarding veteran service programs. 
Ensure the school site provides clear links to a veteran specific page, contact information for the school's VA certifying official and links to other veteran resources. You probably noticed that I use the word you a lot when breaking down each of those seven questions. And that's because it ultimately comes down to you, the veteran, and determining if a particular school is gonna be veteran friendly. And that perspective is gonna vary from person to person. A school doesn't necessarily need to check all seven of those boxes to be considered veteran friendly. However, I would view it as the more boxes that they check, the more veteran friendly that there are. In fact, here's a little tip. As you interact with school representatives during the admissions application and financial aid process, you should ask one simple question. Do you waive the application fee for military and veteran students? Experience shows if they say no, probably not gonna be a military friendly school. All right, be sure to bookmark the military.ggu.edu blog for more quick tips and our benefits basics videos. And while you're at it, join the GGU Military Facebook group and subscribe to the Dispatch, which is GGU's military student newsletter. Speaking as a veteran, attending a military friendly institution makes the educational experience more enjoyable for all the reasons I spoke about but also because of the number of veterans that attend these schools. There's nothing like being in a class and half the roster consists of veterans. Being able to share military educational experience with my brothers and sisters in arms is my final veteran friendly checkbox. Again, my name is Keith Ravenel. Thank you all for tuning in and as always, pump the positivity.